What's up, Spikelings? The stream's only source of entertainment, Esther here, welcoming you back to the Shark Typhoon. Today, we're changing things up with actual jokes and some real joy in the stream. So sit back, relax, and get ready to have fun for a change. Aldrin deck today. I'm pretty excited about the changes, not that they're too crazy, but you know, this deck has gone through a few iterations now, and I think like what's kind of exciting about this deck is despite it going through so many iterations, I think it's just continued to be the most exciting brew we've had from Wilds of Eldrain. Um, we've played three versions. We played a, a kind of more big version with Urza. That was the first build. We were like 17 and 6 with it. Um, and we played a version with Incubation Druid and Sleep Cursed Fairy. Uh, for that infinite combo, we went 4-1 with that one. I'm kind of sad to report I was working on it some more off-stream. It was not really looking as good off-stream as it was on stream we may still circle back to it if there's some more new ideas but we also have um this build with patchwork automaton it's kind of like the the more i like the more we play the deck the more i'm, I'm starting to kind of understand like what it is that this deck is doing um better than decks like scales decks like yogmoth decks like hammer time and like like very very like simply put like your card quality is very high you have a lot of very explosive draws and um, you're also like basically the only deck, uh, the only cauldron deck that is really, really comfortable playing four cauldrons. Um, Scale, Scales wants to play four cauldrons, but there is tension there. Like it's really tough to draw two cauldrons a lot of the time there. It's um, you, and like with, in Scales too, you have like not a ton of card filtering. So it's difficult for you to draw too many cauldrons, too many of the same card. I think I think in scales you still want to play four copies, but in this deck you have eight looters and you have four emeries that just make it so easy. Like if you draw, ex you like you're so ha you don't even care if you have two cauldrons in your opening hand, you're going to be able to loot the extra copy away. You want to have four so you can mill over one with emery and cast it. It's just it's just so so strong. Emery is like crazy good in this deck. Emery is like maybe your best card, um, and that's like very very exciting compared to. Other Emery decks for Emery is just like kind of clunky, but like you, if, for Emery to be good, you have to like really be consistently playing at turn one, and you have to have a lot of powerful artifacts. And this deck just checks all the boxes for it. Um, the big update today, oh, and, and so just one more thing I want to highlight is like pa Ledger Shredder and Patchwork are both really really good threats in these kind of decks. Like Ledger Shredder specifically is just such like a powerful modern staple, but this is like the best Ledger Shredder deck I've ever played. Ledger Shredder is just freaking ridiculous. Um, am I still happy with two Mox Ambers? Feels low. So, so the, the two Mox Ambers, we were playing three last time we played this deck. I'm down to two, um, because the big, the update to this build is we we're playing four Springleaf Drum now. Four Springleaf Drum. Springleaf Drum has been, I've been so happy every single time this card is in my opening hand that I've been wanting to just main deck four for a little bit, but figuring out how to like facilitate that. Is a little bit difficult. What we did was we cut the third Mox Amber, the 18th land, the fourth Spellskite, and um, something else. Hold on. Oh, wait. So, but we only added three drums because we were already main decking one. Because we were already main decking one. Um, the Springleaf drums are great because like the deck, I think, was kind of lacking in uh, one drops. Now we have three extra one drops which is really nice and then you're also going to be able to like double two drop on turn on turn three a lot of a lot of times which i think is pretty exciting too um the deck still does have access to the rona combo but this this is a in my in my opinion this is an aggro deck that has access to an infinite combo um where we've played some builds that are a little bit more focused on the rona combo I, you're also going to be able to like because urza saga tutors at mox amber it's like it's, it's really, I don't think, that unrealistic to expect to be able to combo in a lot of games. This deck sees so many cards with Rona, Emery, Ledger Shredder. Like, like you, you draw, like, 40 cards a game a lot of the time. It's, it's I think, still pretty realistic that you will be um, comboing with Rona some of the time. You'll be closing out some games with Rona. Um, the sideboard is a little bit different now. One thing I think that we learned last time was that the, uh, the One Rings were just not really that good of a plan against scam for this deck um it it's very awkward when they like take your two low cost cards and they leave you with the one rings um and i think for the most part you just care about having good early interaction because like even without the rings you have that kind of late game inevitability of the matchup so we're kind of on dismembers and an extra spell skite for that matchup 
I do think the rings were really good against four color Omnath, but we've also been beating four color Omnath when we don't draw rings. So I'm going to try to see, and I also think patchwork helps, helps that matchup. So we're going to try, um, just no rings in the sideboard and see how that goes. I think, I think that, they, that those are all the big updates. The mana base is also a little different. Um, uh, we had five green sources earlier. We had four Misties in one breeding pool. Since I wanted to cut a land, I wanted to have only four green sources. And I'm thinking that also with the four Springleaf Drum, we have, we have like, we now have, if you don't, I, I probably, I usually count like Gemstone Caverns as half a colored source. So the way I'm thinking about this is this five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ways to activate Haywire Might, which is a pretty good number. Um, and then also Urza Saga can, you know, get you a Springleaf Drum sometimes if you draw your Haywire Might, if you're not gonna call it for it. Um, so yeah, just, just some, just some thoughts on where we're at with the deck. I'm gonna get, try to, try to get as many reps with this deck as I can today, because I, I really, I have very high hopes for this deck. I have, um, and we've had very good experience with it. It's been performing super well. One reality when it comes to brewing and modern is, like, it, it kind of doesn't matter how, like, good your results are in leagues for, to, to some extent. Like, there will be some people who will pick up a deck because you're doing well within leagues. But, but for the most part, you have to have, like, a tournament result with a deck for people to be interested in registering it in tournaments themselves. So, uh, we have not played this deck in a bigger tournament yet. We've had a lot of uh, league matches, but tomorrow tomorrow's kind of a big day for me. A big day for me, putting this deck through a, a challenge for the first time. Luminous the 17th. Why is there much rejection? I'm looking to stop Tron. Tron and Karn the Great Creator. Tron is your worst matchup, I think, and Rejection is your best sideboard card you can play for it. Is Manama worth it with no rings? Yeah, Manama is really, really good with Imri, Rona, and Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Rona, uh, Manama is a very, very good card in this deck. Very close. I think we, ha I think we are supposed to keep a hand like this. Hands a lot better if we draw land, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold the Ornithopter so they can't just kill my Ornithopter and stop me from playing a two drop on turn two. Have we done Heartless Bean? Yeah, we did. Um, we did Heartless Bean with. Yeah, interesting. Okay, we drew <laughs> Manamo, two legendary lands. Probably playing Spell Skite here. I guess I don't actually need to play my Ornithopter yet. I guess I could have gone Cauldron, Ornithopter, Ballista on Zero. That could have also been pretty good. Why no Beanfinity? The problem with Beanfinity is you can like just not beat... Oh, brutal. You could not beat the card Orcish Bowmaster. <laughs> Bowmaster is like too bad to win the game against you. This deck has like four Ballistas to kill Bowmasters, which is nice. Turn back with the 27, thank you. Thank you. Stone! Oh no, stone is so good here! So I can I can still loot things into the graveyard? Man, that sucks. Um... So I want to be able to protect my... I want to be able to protect my, uh, Rona. So I'm going to try to... Try to, uh, get a spell sky in play before we get the Rona down. Play Beefinity with gut shots and Cyborg was okay, yeah. Affinity also has the problem of, like, the deck is, like, mostly just not better than Scales or Hammer. If we draw a land, though, we can... Ooh. Ooh. We can we can go Ballista, which is a Spell Skite, into Rona, which would be kind of nice. It's actually... Oh, no, this one, if a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it. So if they played this Ballista... I can kill their ballista and it'll still go to my graveyard, is that right? I think that that's right. Because it, cause it's not, it wasn't a creature I controlled that did the dying. I'm sure we'll find out. How spell Spellskite spell? Spell, spell Sky just felt great. I am down a copy, I know like... I really, really want a main deck four, but I, I, I just think it is the cut. Um, it's like, it's like usually, like when I when I'm trying to figure out cuts, like I try to figure out, like like I'm not gonna cut a land here. I'm gonna play seventeen for sure. I have to play four bobble in deck with four Emery, four shredder, four patchwork. I need at least two box amber. I wouldn't mind a third, but two is fine. We play two. I need four ornithopter. They're not cuttable. The four drums have been really good. They're not cuttable. These are not cuttable. 
Shredders are uncuttable. Four Cauldron, 100%. Four Patchwork, 100%. Four Rona, four Ballista. And Spell Sky is like, it's just, I, I, as much as I really, um, okay, so, wait, let's just go ahead and Cauldron our Ballista here, right? Save, save our Ballista. And so it's just like Spell Sky is like the one card um, I, I wanted to cut the fourth copy of. We still have the fourth in the sideboard. There's going to be a good amount of matchups. We'll, we'll, bring, we'll bring the fourth copy in. Have I tried Steel Overseer in the Cauldron Shell? I haven't, I haven't tried it. I've played against it. It hasn't looked that good, but um, it's just, they're just better cards to play than Steel Overseer is the thing. I just still not that excited about it. I'm going to block here. I have a Spell Sky. Um... If they have if they have if they have spike filled hat cave, it's kind of okay because I just get to spell skite it to the ballista. So B biscuit the twenty two, Darth the four. Thank you, thank you. I, I know I know the steel overseer is cool. I, I like undeniably that card is cool. Oh, opponent, this is legendary. My opponent clearly does not follow Andrea Mangucci on Twitter because he posted a very similar, a very similar screenshot yesterday. <laughs> very very. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, if they had only followed Andrea Mangucci on Twitter, then they could have avoided all of this. That's funny. Okay, um, so they are I, the kind of the list that's okay, they're, they're a saga deck for sure because they're playing Stone. Uh, I kind of want my own. I want. I think I want a at least a second Haywire. My, I think fourth spell sky would be very good against the. Mono Lightning Bolt deck also. I think I'm down to Trimorona. I think I'm down to Trim an Ornithopter. I think I'm going to just maybe click Submit after this. I don't think I need a Needle. What happened? They So Stone of your Reach, this card, we have we have one copy too, is legendary. They had one in play. They just played a second and then they shame conceded. Are you sure they aren't on Breach and filling Graveyard? Uh, I, I don't think that they're on Breach, but... Um, they could be, I guess. Small change in any considerations from the four fetch land four botanical sanctum. My base just less painful. Yeah, it's less painful. And like one thing too is like when I, well, this hand's so close. It needs a little help, but I'm gonna keep. Like so, like so. One thing is that the um, the mana base here. I I I when when I'm adding the extra springleaf drums, I need the green mana less. So I still I still want to have four basic islands. I think for like blood moon and field of ruin considerations and. And besage you considerations if possible. Um, obviously, you can go lower, but also like, but like, I want to play. So you'll see me play less basics in other decks, but I want to play more basics in this deck because I'm playing Emery and I'm playing so many looters. I'm so likely to like mill over a basic island. I'm so likely to loot away basic island. Um, if that makes sense. That that like like. Like I I think you need to play more basics here than you do in other shells. I, I think I think that's kind of a good example of how like modern doesn't have a ton of formulas. You know what I mean for like for card considerations, because like because you usually I'll say you you could be fine with like two or three basics against like the you know the coffers decks. If, if two basics if you're like really aggressive like scales. More basics if you're not. Um, but like, but having Emery in your deck and you know all these looters like really changes that dynamic. And so, so when I when I want to have four green sources only, like it's kind of weird. Like I I can't really play like the four fetch package anymore. Okay, we did not draw a land, but we can start doing stuff next turn because we can get a haywire might to um to tap to our drum for blue. Let's see. So we get tap a <laughs> tap a I guess I guess we go patchwork, Emery, Amber. I guess Amber into Emery. And then do we have I think we have two mana after that. I'm also totally fine if they just spend their turn Field of Ruining. Yeah, yeah, th these lists are mostly on Field of Ruin over Blood Moon, which is another reason why I felt a little bit more comfy keeping this hand. Another drum. Weird game. Um yeah, we'll still get get the patchwork. Or should I haywire might? Cast the patchwork. Cast the drum. Cast Emery. No four. Cast drum. I 
Remember you played Toski a while back? I mean, I was playing Toski like pre NH2. <laughs> There's a lot more exile based removal and a lot better card advantage engines and a lot um, <laughs> better cards that punish you for drawing cards. As much as I love Toski, and Toski was pretty good for a little bit. Just not the time anymore. Squee with the 47, thank you so much. Good to have you around all this time. So can I, I guess I, I can't, I have enough, <laughs> I have enough um, <laughs> spring wave drums to go shredder into Emery here. And I think, I think that's what I will do despite me taking another hit from the bone crusher probably. Oh, I, I want to get, I want to get this connive. <laughs> it would be great to draw a land and also play the spell skype maybe. Sure. And it comes with two life attached. Kind of, wait, why are they killing that and not the Emery? I guess that just means they have an answer to the Emery. Um, so I think I'll, I'll discard the Spell Skite here so that I have some... Assuming that they're going to kill my Emery, I'll have a little bit more action afterwards. Um, patchwork getting pretty large, pretty in charge. Let's see what they're drawing. Fury. Okay, Fury's not too scary here. Brave into blue red murk tide after monkey was printed. That, that that's not something that happened. <laughs> I was like pretty locked in on like Luris Luris monkey decks at first. I think I was not the person who invented the murk tide shell. Please stop playing Culture Sick and buy them at cheaper price. I <laughs> I don't know if I'll stop playing them anytime soon. We'll see. Yeah, maybe the fourth Emery will live. If I knew I was drawing fourth Emery, then maybe I would have kept Spell Skite, but kind of tough to to say. So they wouldn't flame slash my Emery first, which is kind of surprising that they wouldn't flame slash the Shredder if they had another removal spell. Like now this is gonna be pretty hard for them to kill, right? I would think. And the fourth drum. Oh, that's a pretty funny draw. Yeah, I think I know it could just be attacking. But I think I need to be casting spells still. And like, you know, I, I'm still in a spot where Fury is only killing one of my creatures, which is nice. Cauldron, very, very good here. I have a Ballista in the yard, right? Oh, no, I have a Cauldron in the yard. Maybe I'll mill a Ballista over here. I do, okay, I did mill over a Ballista. Which is going to go so crazy with these two cards. With Patchwork the Bank, you can just race them. I can, but it's also it's also tough, because like, if, if they just have enough remo- like, like, one, I know they have Fury, so like, it's a big priority, I think, to get this this Shredder up to 3-5. To um, and I, I, like, we could race them, but I think we're more likely to win the game if we just play two more threats here. If you cast the Emery first, you could have left Patchwork to untap to attack. Oh yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, my opponent field have ruined all my lands. I didn't. I sure did not keep a one lander. <laughs> yeah, I kept a one land double springleaf drum box amber hand. So I'm definitely casting this cauldron. I'm definitely going to. Oh, I guess I, I'll loot here. Doesn't really do anything, but like, yeah, I'll, I'll take a mill one. You know. Oh, do I have the second Mox Amber? I need to check if I have the second Mox Amber. Okay, don't have the second Mox Amber yet, but we can combo in two turns. Um, what am I casting with Emery? Oh, I, I could have also made a mana here. Maybe I guess making a mana was, would have been a lot better. I think I'm casting Shadow Spear. Because this untaps my... Untaps my uh, Rona to do. I could theoretically equip if I want. Rona plus, uh... <laughs> Rona plus... Oh, and then getting a counter on the Shredder's nice here. Ro Ro sorry, Rona plus drum is kind of a funny combo. Um, okay, are they just dead, though? Hold on, they're, ju they're not just dead because they have blockers. I think that they'll have an incredibly hard time winning if I equip here, though. Could have attacked with this if I had just made a mana with the Rona instead. That is definitely difficult to play. A lot of uh, complicated lines. The patchworks have been so so good. 
think I think they're better than Urza's. Not that the Urza's were bad, but you know, it's kind of the same formula as the Helia deck we're playing yesterday. Like you can play rings, or you can play beans, but beans are they're just like so much lower on the curve. It takes a lot for it to do anything. Uh, we'll keep this on the draw. We have um, four looks at least out of second land. My opponent has revealed Chancellor of the Draw, so we're up against Mono Black Bird, a matchup I have not played in a little while. Yeah, and I was just thinking Sleeper Agent is probably great against me. I have a it's just gonna always deal me two damage. We are a Shadow Spear deck, so overall things are probably not so bad. Uh, I'm gonna look at my top card. It's a Shadow Spear, which is kind of fun. Although, I guess I guess what's nice about the Sleeper Agent here is it lets me... <laughs> it lets me double drum here. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm going to crack this second bobble now. Just because of Bowmasters. I don't think that they necessarily play Bowmasters, but they might. Could I explain the combo for someone who didn't keep up? So yeah, the, the combo takes a lot of resources. It's it's not something you're going to do that many games. But it, it's nice to have access to when in games where we have a lot of resources. Board, board just stalled. Opponent isn't playing around it. Um, but the combo is turning your Rota into an Emery with Cauldron and having two Mox Ambers that gives you infinite mana. Which you can use for a Ballista. Why do they play Sleep Rage? It does a, it, 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 it does a lot of damage. And so it does a lot of damage, and then they care a little bit less about um, taking a lot of damage because, because they have a lot of ways to gain life with Soul Spike and Chancellor of the Dross. If you put Spear on Super Agent, Life Link on self damage. Oh, wow, you do. That's so cool. Yeah, there's, there's the Soul Spike putting me down to 9. I'm going to go down to 7 here. Yeah, so I did not draw the land. So I have to go for Shredder here. Hopefully we can find a land off of this. Nope. That that's that was a lot of looks at a land. We are we are only playing 17, but we had we were on, we had five looks. Everything we're playing Alter the Brew back up when Kano Saga. I, 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 I would not play it. Like again, this is this deck is like this deck is an aggro deck with a combo. This is not a this is not a combo deck. With an, with, an, with an aggro plan. Two damage you gain... Two damage you're supposed to get two slow. I'm going to go to one. Um, and I actually think I need to keep the Emery. So we can go Emery. Tap, tap, equip. Is it one, one? Hmm. Yeah, make it cast the Cauldron, too. with the Emery. So I go to three. It's very, very funny giving this lifelink. This doesn't have Death Touch, right? I, this is like this has been a funny game so far. Wow, they're just chumping this aggressively. Do they think it has Death Touch too? When it dies, it has a dies trigger. I, I thought it was ETB. Okay, okay. I already thought I thought this had already triggered for some reason. That being said, I don't really know what we lose to now. Isn't equipping Shredder the same damage you can't block? No, because because you gain two life. Like the equipping Shadow Spear on Sleeper Agent negates the life loss from Sleeper Agent. We get we gain two we we it, it, it it's this is damage so the, it triggers off Life Link. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, maybe that I should have uh, articulated that a bit better. So I can do the reduke plan of side in all the cards that say gain life on them, including Haywire Might. I feel like the Mites are a lot worse in this matchup than. They are in other spots. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play one Haywire I might here. Trimarona. I have RCQ tomorrow, can't decide between Burn and Prowess. I think Burn is better than Prowess at the moment. Um, but both are good. 
They're fine. A lot of one-landers today. This hand's pretty sick if we draw a land. We have Shadow Spear. I don't really think I'm mulliganing this. I'm going to draw. Isn't Spell Sky kind of add this matchup? The card's pretty good against Soul Spike. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have the all the entire the entire mono black burn burn spells in my repertoire, but it's at least good against Soul Spike. Seventeen lands, a lot of one land openers today. I don't know. I've played plenty of. <laughs> Lower land count decks. I think it's fine. Okay, it's a little bit worse when they kill when your one lander is a saga and they kill your saga. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> you caught me. How is also this is their graveyard hit or disenchanted choice? Interesting. Listen, look, they're gonna assassin's trophy me. They main phase this? Like what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I guess I guess they, they didn't see me miss a land drop. Um Okay, I'll discard the ballista. Like why would we play more lands? We are uh <laughs> Listen, it doesn't fucking matter, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna... I, I don't need the third land, you can just legend rule them. Yeah, they're kind of flooding for a burn deck. Gonti's Machinations, whenever you lose life for the first time, you start to get a energy, pay to energy helix, right? Yeah. Is it better to cast the drum this turn? I think it's better to cast it next turn. I get a connive though, which could be a ledger shredder counter, but it's also a counter on the patchwork next turn. We might have lethal next turn. We're taking for five here plus at least another two next turn. So five plus seven is twelve. And then we would need um five counters to ping them to death, which is what we have exactly. And so we also, you know, draw a lot of things that increase our damage by one. I feel like they overboarded. I mean, it's kind of tempting against the... I mean, I, I, this this card is kind of weird in their deck. I think against Tron, you're just trying to race them. Um, I don't know if Atraxxus Fall is the best disenchant. It, it might be, I don't know. It's kind of clunky. It does kill Merktide, though. I guess I, they, they survive because of Gonti's machinations. So with a Bloom Command, kill my cauldron, drain me for two. That's a very good pickup here. Um, let's go ahead and kill their their board. What a what a pickup. So now we're at 12, kind of, kind of at 9, because of this. That's a good pickup. Certainly hoping we just hit, like, any, any spell here to grow the Shredder. Okay, there we go, any spell. So you're hitting them from eight for six this turn, eight next turn. So you have them on a three turn clock, including this turn. So excited with your bait list. Seems great. I can't see the one with it. Yeah, that's <laughs> something I relate to a lot. It's okay. You know, you will. Uh, it's part of the brewing process to be very excited about something and have it not go that well. Yeah, this is a gemstone cavern. I know the name is kind of awkward, but the art is just so cool on this. I like to, I like to play these. Both the bird, five months. Welcome back. 
so sacking hopeless nightmare for the scry two and their upkeep. Don't I, I? I feel like you can never do this when, like, how is what, what are they? They can't soul spike me because they only have one card in their hand. Like, what? What are you hoping to happen here? Now you're just dead to me drawing any artifact. <laughs> I don't know. Both the bird again with thinking for the five. Good ping response. Of the good energy, I see. Yeah, that's true. If assuming that you know they didn't have the blockers and the with the bloom back then, like what? Like what are they hoping to happen here? Okay, so they have a land. Do they have something? Okay, they have Gontis. I guess the I guess they're just having Gontis keep them alive. So we're we're one short, right? This is yeah, this is eleven total. Soul Spike is terrible in the deck. Well, what's nice about Soul Spike is you can you have Chancellor of the Dross, which is a, which Helix is for zero mana, then you can pitch it to Soul Spike later. And in fact, the deck is capable of winning on turn zero <laughs> uh, because you have four Chancellor of the Dross, four Soul Spike. You can just reveal you know four Chancellors, double Soul Spike. <laughs> it's easy, or can you can you triple soul spike triple chancellor? You probably don't have enough cards for that. Excuse me. Um, all right, two of four oh. Which is I think really why you play the mono black deck is to, for the like the turn zero wins <laughs> every once in a while. Blackbird is so slow. Either nut draw, kill turn seven. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not I'm not saying mono blackbird is a good deck, but it's a deck you can win with. Does CMTG Goldfish attempt the turn zero win? Wait. Turn zero win happens like something like one in a million matchups. Never tell me the odds, dude. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. <laughs> have I considered learning some Yu Gi Oh? I haven't. I, I, I haven't uh, considered it, no. I've told my, my Yu Gi Oh tragic backstory of when I was like. In the third grade, I had a friend. His name was Carson, and he would he he. I would go over to his house after school, and he would teach me to play Yu-Gi-Oh, which would involve him dealing up the two decks, saying, "Okay, you do this, I do this, you do this, I do this, you do this, I do this, I win," every single time. <laughs> and I would ask questions, and he wouldn't answer them. <laughs> he just he just wouldn't answer them. He just steamroll and ignore me, and uh, I hated Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I, 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 he just he, he would just give me his worst deck. Give me his worst deck. Not tell me how to play, <laughs> and just ignore all my questions. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I, I think I'm a little bit worried. Doomwake would do the same to me. Ragavan flips over Urza Saga, which may, may would be like my best draw next turn. Yeah, future Storm player. Okay, so we're gonna go Ballista on zero. Ornithopter Cauldron. Did you think you would did you think you would get too good? Yeah, maybe. Be better I guess better to play around bolt if I cauldron first, but this is better against binding. Pretty good outcome. Especially with this backup cauldron in my hand. And a Shoulder Brawler, huh? Two cards in their hand. It's a pretty good draw. Um, so is it better to Ledger Shredder or is it better to Patchwork? Probably better to Ledger Shredder, since it could actually block the Nakatl this turn, potentially. I think I'll just discard the Patchwork, since I wasn't able to deploy it quickly enough. Okay, now I need to think... Yeah, I think, I think I'm okay trading um, a Bowmaster Trigger for an extra counter on the Shredder, since that extra counter likely could represent... Um... Oh, they just have another Bowmaster already in their hand. Okay. 
since the extra counter can likely represent um, a ballista ping or a legend shredder ballista ping. Uh, Tony Tomahawks, man, what a fucking good username, dude. <laughs> what a good username. Uh, thank you for the, the Twitch Prime. Tony Tomahawks. Okay, so the hand is now Bowmaster Mystery Card. They drew another Bowmaster. Uh, or so they, drew, they drew a land so they can uh, use the Bowmaster. I think I need to soak up three damage here. Tony Tomahawks? You're kidding, dude. What a name. It's Tommy. Oh, Tommy Tomahawks. That's even better. Somehow even better. <laughs> I dead. Ballista, they ping me down to seven. Then I cauldron onto the shredder of three pings. Seven block here. This is would be at five. Five seven. So if I block here, ping one, take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, take exaxes. So this says two more counters. I guess, can I block here? So block here. Three counters, ping, ping. I guess, block a Bowmaster killed Brawler. Yeah, that's the only line, I guess. Blister for Zero does a lot here. Yeah, the thing is I know they have a second Bowmaster in their hand. That's the, that's the problemo. Can we blister in response to trigger, activate cauldron, ping bowmaster, ping bowmaster, block the cattle? Ballista in response to trigger, activate cauldron. Well, we can, the trigger happens before we can ballista. My the, the only way I calculated that we can live is... Um, we, get, we can block bowmaster, ping brawler, ping bowmaster. But this is a, somehow a 5-5 five five and not a... That meant 6. They get a th oh, I, I I didn't count the Bowmaster ETB. That's the problem. I didn't count, count the Bowmaster ETB. So now I may be in chump block mode. Block here. Block here. Kill this. Kill this. Yeah, I go to one. But then I but I'm chumping. So seems tough. Don't see another block. You only have three counters? Oh, right, okay. Uh, still go to one. And you're a spell, which can't really beat any spell. Oh, Giganta, I can't can beat that, I guess. Um, dead? Yeah, dead. Tough game. I think we're in the playroom. Pretty good shape. How do we know second like bowmaster hand? The bobble. Okay, bring in the dismembers. Want to keep in the first haywire might. I think we trim. Second mox amber. Fourth runa. I don't think this is an Aether Spellball matchup. Could be fine. Let's let's not bring it in. I wonder if we had kept uh, Patchwork over Shredder, maybe we could win. It's hard, kind of hard to play around double Bowmaster as like their last two uh, spells. Have I tried Caller over Shadow Spear? Uh, I I have it, and I would not play it over Shadow Spear. It's like. Your patchwork automatons are so much better when you have shadow. Like pa patchwork is like just bad if you don't have shadow spear in your deck. It's just, it, but be, but being able to like shadow spear up your patchwork is such a such an important part of your game plan in so many matchups, and it's it's a lot more important than giving your stuff death touch. It also gives an extra plus one plus one for the tiebreaker, but I you also I would also not play both. It's it's also like the the whole like death touch stuff. It's good against like hammer, murktide, yogmoth, and isn't like really relevant in too many other matchups. It's so slow. 
What about one or two surge engine for unblockable top down? Well, you have shadow spear. I, I also don't. I don't know what what does surge engine do. What does that card do? Card surge engine. Three two. Oh, this this card. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this card is good. I think we kill this since it's going to be able to attack through my 3-3 patchwork next turn. What about Asmo turns right now? I think the Sweets Revenge deck is the best Asmo deck. Crack now is a Bowmaster. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. That card's just like not very modern playable. There's also, like, just not room for more two-mana creatures in the stack. We have infinity two-mana two creatures as it is. Second Saga. Just making a construct here. Very sniffly today. But it's got a tough turn. I imagine they're attacking with the, the Kavu. Seems they haven't um, even locked that decision in yet. Besides, no attacks? It almost feels like they misclicked there. A bit confused. Happy enough. Since I don't know that this Kavu is blocking super well necessarily. We'll see. They have Dress Down? Yeah, I guess they, I guess they could never play dressed down in their Kavu deck. <laughs> okay, so if I play Cauldron this turn, I can attack with both my Patchwork and my Construct, and then put a counter on whichever creature gets blocked. But I get really blown out by Leyline Binding get really blown up by binding so I think I'm just gonna play the cauldron get both four fours yeah I, 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 I lose so hard to binding here if I if I attack <laughs> cool to play a matchup where like combat creature math is so relevant if they had binding, wouldn't they be attacking? I don't know. I mean, Bolt also... I guess the Bolt doesn't blow me out as bad, but... Maybe. Can I explain why binding's bad? Yeah, so say I attack with both. They block the... They block the... The, the construct. Well, hold on. I counter on the construct, and then they binding the cauldron, and the construct dies? Yeah. I guess... I guess I, I could maybe just attack with patchwork. But I don't, I don't know that I want to trade patchwork for Kafu. Yeah, it's like, I, I think I think we could attack with the patchwork, but I I don't I actually don't think this is a trade I want to make. Like it shrinks my constructs, one one more artifact than, um, or one more casted artifact. My patchwork is bigger than the Kavu's. Uh, get stash with the fourteen months. Thank thank you. Welcome back. Third saga. Right, I think that we're chilling here. But it says, wow. <laughs> Three sagas, it's game, dude. I think I'll just go ahead and make the hearse smaller. Don't, you know, kind of in a fight for our lives here. Three sockets game, dude. When this just happens though, when you complain about your opponent's draw, then you rip your out. And you're like, uh, oh no, I, <laughs> oh no. Although we do have like at least one really good attack. Yeah, 
I think we just did some of the constructs. Path to exile, huh? Yeah, the blue culture deck's great. Not making it not making a construct now for more damage, because if they do have hidden sugu, I wanna be able to float a mana, then make then make the construct. Um I think I'm I'm pretty likely to haywire might the hearse next turn, so I think I'll go ahead and and tap this anyways, because I don't really think I'm doing much anything better with the cauldron. Okay, no hidden sugu probably. I think clothus. Might get a shadow spear. I, I I like that the haywire might plays um. See, so call saga. Yeah, we'll sa we'll save the shredders for for next turn. Double connive. I guess I can just play the first one now and, then, and not really get too many connives. Maybe that's fine. Trade sweets revenge and paper. Miserable to play. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh that's valid. I guess I can attack with the I can attack with the patchwork though because they have they have to block all these constructs. So it's it's pretty likely they go like chump 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 take five. Probably find a trim a sanctum over. Nah, I'll trim. I've, I've been trimming Manamo when I bring in the cavern sometimes. I do have a haywire might in. I think if I don't have might in, the trim a sanctum. It's kind of tough though, because like when you have caverns, like it's more likely that these enter into play tapped. I have a lot of green sources. I'm, I'm talking myself into it, I guess. Went to gate time game one tied every match. That's funny. Yeah, I, I think you really you have to be you have to figure out how to play the deck really fast. Like I, I, when I played the 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 feasting troll king variant and the hunter burton, I I, I, I was playing the deck re very fast and, and on, I had like I, like a weird experience where my problem was really that my opponents were playing really slowly and like they were like they were just like tanking so long and like how to interact with me and then i like i would just blaze through like i would i would take like 50 game actions in, in a minute or something or not, not that that not that many but i'd take like two dozen game actions in a minute just and just pass pass to my opponent i would like have like 30 steel secret triggers and just decline to use all of them you have to you have to be able to play the deck really fast which is you know certainly not an experience that everyone finds enjoyable i know Definitely holding the bobble. I, th I think I think we're gonna go turn to patchwork bobble Emery. Um, over the spell skite. And spell skite Emery is really nice. I guess we can go Emery in like if they tap out, um, we can go Emery spell skite and have a blocker for the Nakato. They're holding up mana. They're holding up a binding. I have a second patchwork. I think I'm just actually just pretty fine with them. Reprieve, dude! Wow, what a line. I could have played her I could have played around a lot better by going Bobble Emery first. Alright, I really want to find a third land for next turn, so I'm gonna crack this now. Crack it before they have boatmasters up. Reprieve, very difficult card to play around there. Not really a good way to play around second reprieve, I guess. Because I don't have the bobble anymore. <laughs> Fine. Man, this is, yeah, this is tempo with this wild Nakato. So they have Teferi, they're gonna slam the Teferi. Would love if they minus on my drum. They plus. Weird game. 
Ward 2 is such a good ability. Land to be able to go Patchwork, Spell Sky, Emery would be really good. Kind of shocked by the boarded three fairies. I I, I know. I, I, yeah, I'm assuming they're boarded. They could be just in the deck, I guess. The show with Brawler, I guess, this turn. Oh, Scion. Scion's really fucking good here, dude. I'm at <laughs> I'm at eight. Damn, I'm at eight. What a game. Attacking them. Bliss in the yard, so if we if we get to if we get to untap and we get to cast this cauldron with the Emery we we should win. I got five cards in their hand though. Most of them are spells because they missed a lot of land drops. My opponent says F mini lands. <laughs> but she missed so many land drops. I, I, this time I have hit it Sugu. Oh, but it's bad. Wow, first time hit it Sugu is in hand and it's not just like four mana five for or three mana five for one. They only missed one land drop? No, they missed two. Right, they, they they were on two lands on turn three and turn four, I think. But it could just be trolling me. <laughs> Double tribal flames. Let's play a second spell skite, I guess, for a little bit of a insurance. What it said GG to me. But <laughs> I like are, are we are you dead? <laughs> are you dead? Cause Oh, do they have reprieve or something? No way. They wouldn't have said GG with reprieve. You have something else? Why did you say GG? Dude, GG with double binding or something. Come on, what is happening right now? Oh, but also if you have... Wait, if you... how do you have two removal spells and you pass the turn? You have all perfect answer. <laughs> you let me put... You could have... <laughs> what the fuck? What? What is this GG? Oh, by the way, I have two Leyline Bindings in my hand. <laughs> I was also dead last turn if they if they if they went um. If my opponent went, target Cauldron, I pay two mana Spellskite, two life Spellskite, then they binding my Spellskite. I'm literally just dead last turn. What is happening right here? <laughs> oh, I see. It's okay. It's okay. But they they could they could they could have they could have but they they also could have uh, binding like the patchwork or something. 
But like, but, oh, oh, opponent, you're complaining about having too many lands. Your hand is hidden Sugu binding binding land. What is, what is that? <laughs> Come on, dude. BM. BM, complain about too many lands and your hand is hidden Sugu binding binding land. Yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> My brother in Christ, you could spend all five mana this turn, too. <laughs> yeah, it's good content, you know, for sure. We draw a Mox Amber. Uh, I guess the Mox Amber taps for mana, but Mox Amber untaps. Oh, wait, we only have one draw. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. If we can scales. Scales is an interesting matchup. The main deck Haywire might can go a long way. Let's see. Kind of pr relatively free loot here. Sure, I'm happy I was on the uh, the old play here, huh? Yeah, the spell sky. I always forget how good spell sky is against scales too. But yeah, redirecting the modular is super nice. I can use the Manamo here to give Emery two counters by untapping the Cauldron next turn, maybe. What happens if you give use Cauldron to give another creature Transformer and then transform it? Uh, it only happens if they have like a, a backside. So like, you know, yeah, it, it would have to be able to transform somehow, which is not, you know, most creatures. Couldn't you exile Ballista and keep yours for empty activation? Why I okay exile Ballista? Well, the only reason the only way I'm killing their Ballista is is using my Ballista, right? What am I missing? Okay, um, so let's go. I think. Island, Saga, Cauldron, their Ballista, there's a boss, I think they're Ballista so they can't Cauldron their Ballista, Cauldron Mirrors are so weird, then we go, ping here, tap this for blue, untap, Cauldron, their hanger back walker. And I won't be able to. I'm one mana short, or one creature short of activating this. But I have the the ping up for the Ink Moth Nexus. Good draw. Technically better to exile oppo opponents plus stick as Emery. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Although you're not very likely when you have a when you have a cauldron uh, on ballista, I don't know how likely you are to cast a Emery or ballista off Emery. Would I brew with training grounds? I brewed with training grounds before, mostly in Pioneer. Um, the card is not that good. Let's loot. I think that I'm unlikely to not keep the spell skate though. So construct haywire might basically for sure is ease here. Into spell skate, and then they they may they may sack their ravager now, which would be really good for me if they sack their ravager now. And if they don't, they're just kind of screwed. Training grounds wasn't pioneer legal to aftermath. Yeah, that's that's when I was brewing with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't. It's it's not. I, can't you use mana to add a counter? Yeah, but I want to use my mana to construct haywire haywire might activation. 
and cast the spell skite. Spell skite is so crazy here. Okay, so I'm bringing the spell skite, the aether spell bomb, the extra haywire mites, the pithy needle, the dismember, the stone of e-reach, the glittering caves, and the rejections are also nuts. Hold on, I have 14 cyborg cards for scales. I mean, it's just kind of incidental, I guess. All right, so what can we do? We can cut the ornithopters, trim a drum, cut the patchworks. Patchworks are pretty bad. Um, cut, cut maybe the Mox Amber Rona package. Still play one Mox Amber. That looks pretty good. <laughs> I cannot remember the last. Oh, that's. I get to play one more. You could play like one Rona, fourth drum. One Rona, I guess. Is this not overboarding? I don't know. All of these cards are insane. <laughs> I think I want them all. What's the dismember for? They're creatures, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> they're 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 like a, they're a creature aggro deck. I want my dismembers. And they're mulling to four. Can ceremonious rejection <laughs> something turn one? Not that thing, though. Will you board out Stone on the play? No, Stone is insane against them. Stone is one mana, your modular doesn't work. Your hanger back walkers don't work. Is this member good against scales? It's fine. It's, it's you want some removal against them, yeah. It's an important tool. Nope. <laughs> so excited to kill my saga. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're 4-0. Oh. I'm so excited about this deck. This deck has just been so phenomenal. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the big update here is we're on 4 Springleaf Drum now, which has been, I think, another 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 uh, upgrade. So let's get a trophy prediction going. I need to use the restroom. I have drinking. Just so telegraphed. Oh, this hand slaps dude when you have metallic rebuke it is just the most obvious thing ever okay so i think i put back a bobble and i pitch a odawara to my caverns oh wait, i'm on the play i thought a hundred percent as i was on the draw okay well i, I would have put this back But it's, it's, it's always so obvious when you have Metallic Rebuke. I could loot it away. <laughs> I saw that coming. I'm sure you did. Vagaban? No! D stop! Scam players! Please! I can't do this! I can't! You can't go fetch Bloodstained Mire! Fetch Bloodstained Mire! Tap for red! Untap! Untap! Grief your only two spells! Stop, scam players. I can't with you. Please. It's too much psychic damage. That's a really good draw. <laughs> Stop. You're out of control. Rejection over no. Rejection counters Karn. That's the main reason you're playing it in the first place. It counters Karn. You play these decks all the time, and chatters are always like, Spike, what's your plan for Karn the Great Creator? Like, half the chatters like, how do you beat Karn? The other half is like, why are you playing this answer for Karn? It's also so annoying you can't spell Skite not dead after all. Okay. They pitched a Fable. And they're dashing a Ragavan. Fuck off, scam. How to beat Stone in Silence? You don't. I mean, you could theoretically beat them with Patchwork and Constructs, but I have yet to beat one. Hopefully Urza Saga can solo them. Is this a popular Boda Grider? It, might, it very well might be.
Ugh. If I can find a way to make this construct a little bit bigger, so a double block lines up well, that would have been nice. Not something we had the luxury of here. I think I do just have to get Shadow Spear. And then see what happens. We may still win, but I don't know. I just took I took so much damage from the Fetch Blood Crypt Tap Red untap. <laughs> oh wait, I have brief scan in my hand. I'm gonna play that instead of uh this Ragavan. Hopefully they just play Blood Moon, that'd be great. Maybe dashing the Ragavan? Casting the Ragavan. It's really bad if I double block and my opponent has an undying effect, which I feel like could be kind of likely. I feel that I can take a hit here and then I can equip Shadow Spear, start racing, leave this back to block the other. Like, one problem is here if I double block and I equip and start attacking, then like they're hitting me with the Ragavan. I think I'm gonna go to go to three here. Certainly a little risky. We're still on the deck, unfortunately. Only playing two. I think we'll go ahead and play and move this over here. They do a bolt. Channels Takanuma. Gets back Fury. So I, why are they attacking with Ragavan? Block Ragavan, can they, they can go... They can still only kill one Construct, right? What am I missing? They evoke, and then... I guess the, if they if their hand is land, red card... No, they, they can't they can't scam, evoke a Fury. They can't, they can't scam, they, do, they need four cards. They need Fury, red card, scam, land. They can fear the construct. Yeah, but they can they can kill this construct already. Like why 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 do this? No, they only have three cards, they can't have double fury. So this will have two damage on it, they can go three well, yeah, they I don't know. Red card bolt fury. But they need a land too. They have no they have no more lands this turn. Yeah, scam fury already kills both. If they were to have it. And they're even just killing the wrong one. Now I don't have to move the Shadow Spirit over. They've they, they made so many mistakes this game. Like, I don't know, I don't know that we're... Maybe not so many mistakes. Maybe just that one mistake. I feel like there was something else. Classic complained the whole time win anyways, but it's also like it, it, it was it was too much psychic damage from the from the tap for red. <laughs> that that was that was a lot to deal with. <laughs> the tap for red realize I have scam fury, <laughs> scam fury. <laughs> okay, um, this is loosely the sideboard plan. I want, I want the stone also. Yeah, one amber, three run, three ornithopter, two dismember. Caverns on the draw. No torment script. Zero reason to channel before combat. Yeah, that's yeah, that's also true. Lucy, hello, Lucy. Okay, we're gonna keep this. I think I'm gonna dump a ornithopter to the caverns here. They're an EE deck. Do you want needle? It's just kind of tough because you don't know like what their hidden sugu EE split is. Like, if, sometimes they have one EE, two hitted Sugu. Sometimes they have two EE, one hitted Sugu. Um, they occasionally have no EE at all. And so it, it's tough It's tough to, like... It's really bad when you go, like, Needle, EE, and they just hit a Sugu, kill your Needle. <laughs> THC Maestro, thank you for the three years, dude. Let's go. Welcome back. Long time. Hey, Spider, how's it going? I think we're start seeing scam decks remove the Croxes for extra main deck Blood Moon. Yeah, I don't think that the Croxes are great at the moment. Okay, opponents on that Mold of Six must have had a really close one. 
the scam not ley line you in your experience or does that matter because you have the patrick game plan yeah you don't really care much about ley line because you, you have so many ways to loot like if they if they ley line you you can like just ledger shredder your cauldrons and emery's away a lot of the time um i also haven't been ley by them very much but i'm it, it's like i'm just kind of okay with like trying to dodge it and like loot away my graveyard cards rather than have a haywire in my, in my deck Oh, I have Dismember up too. Not that it does it much, but. I can kill a Ragavan. Although, am I killing Ragavan here? I don't think so. I think I want to save Dismember for um, Voidwalker, potentially. Okay, I'm going to discard my second Shredder, which may seem weird, but getting this out of Volt range, I think, is a priority. I'll block here. If, if their plan is to, like, block, evoke fury, this is a uh, three for two in my favor against the opponent who's multi five. If, if it's a bolt, I'm getting. It's a two for one in my favor. Nice pickup. Go, Ornithopter, go. I guess I, guess I probably should have held this up to stop. A scam. Oh, they just concede. And they just concede. Wow. Well, that feels good. Scam matchup does... It's, it's, this, this build is, like, definitely much... What, what does the deck look like this? Oh, I thought this was a shielded for a second. I got kind of excited. Well, did they change how sort by mana value works? No, I, don't, I must have just done that. Um, just got the mana value. Nice! Five, oh, this deck is great. I'm so excited for tomorrow's challenge.